with the beautiful Marissa Ramirez. So tell me why you're here tonight. Obviously you're co-hosting, but how, how is the event important to you in APLA? I'm here to hopefully help people donate and bring in as much money as possible to AIDS Project Los Angeles. It's just, it's such an important cause to my heart and and I just, I just want the money. Bring the money. <laughs> Have some drinks. And you know, equal, equal rights, the gay rights, everything. We've talked about this before, but it seems like we're, we're making some progress. Definitely making progress, yeah. Maybe we're almost there. Almost there. I don't think we're very far away at all. Yeah. So you think when I get married in June, it might be legal here? Get married in June? Yeah. No. But I'd like it to be legal in the state I live. I will pray that, that nice. it will be legal. Yeah. Okay, Aww. so we gotta talk to Spartacus. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, tell me about shooting a death scene like you did. Like how? I mean, have you died on screen before? Yeah. I have actually. I did. Um, I did a, an episode of, of Young and the Restless where my character was killed 13 times. <laughs> so I had to do 13 different deaths by 13 different characters. And, oh my god. And it ended up being the show that they submitted to, for the daytime Emmys, and they won my death. It was great. I guess I don't know. But um, for Spartacus, shooting that death scene was insane, insane. They just kept squirting the blood into my mouth, coughing it out. They wanted me to spit it out everywhere because they love the blood. Of course. And it was just so much fun to like gurgle and choke and cough. And my friend of mine, Steve, was actually there while I was filming it. And he had to leave. He had to go back up to the trailers because he couldn't hear it anymore because it was oh, painful. No. And my throat was so sore afterwards. But then you know what happened? We're in the studios and they don't have any soundproofing. Okay. So I had to redo all oh, of no. that. So with water, with towels, everything, it was, it was hilarious. And then, wow. you know, they don't they don't show it all. They just use pieces of it, but right. it the was blood. fun. Now, I talked to Dustin at TCA. Oh. He's quite a drink of water. Yeah. <laughs> now, knowing you're a married woman, happily married woman, you didn't, I mean, like, your character didn't get to go all the way with him because you died too quick. Oh, darn. Why couldn't it have happened the other way I around? Don't know. I don't know. Maybe there'll be a flashback in the future. There you know, we go. He'll have a dream sequence or something. Wow. I don't now, know. And now what's happening with you now? Where can we see you? What's going on? I am on my way to Toronto to do a Lifetime series called Against the Wall. And I will be playing a very pregnant internal affairs detective with hormonal problems. So that'll be fun. Okay, something how, different. And how are you researching that since you have not been pregnant yet? Uh, my cousin's pregnant, so I'm asking ah, her everything that I can. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So good to see you, Marissa. Good to see you. All right.